If your goal is to land a job as a React developer, but you've been struggling to learn React, then today is your lucky day because I just launched my full React Simplified course that'll teach you everything you need to know about React from absolute beginner to the most advanced React features you could ever know, including Next.js. And by the end of this course, you're going to be able to build projects that look just like this that are going to take your portfolio to the next level. So if that sounds interesting, I'm going to have a link in the description and the comments for you. And if you check it out within a week of this video going live, you're going to be able to get the launch time discount. So I highly recommend checking it out as soon as possible if you're interested. Also, if you want to play around with this demo project, which is the final project for the course, I'll leave a link to where you can actually view the demo of this in the description down below. Now, if you're wondering if this is the right course for you, just ask yourself if you've been trying to learn React, but you're constantly struggling because you don't know how to actually build projects or maybe you learn a few different React concepts, but you're unable to actually connect those concepts together to build something meaningful with them. This is what I struggled with when I was learning React and honestly what most people struggle with when learning React. So if that sounds like you, then this is the perfect course for you. Because not only am I going to teach you all of these different advanced concepts for React as well as all these introductory level fundamental concepts of React, but I'm going to teach it to you in a way where you can connect all of these different concepts together. And the reason I'm able to do that is because of how I implement projects in this course. Using projects to learn is the best way to learn. But it's hard to find the right project that's going to be at your current skill level and isn't going to overwhelm you. So in this course, I've actually put projects all throughout the course. Every couple videos, there's going to be a new project for you to work on. But instead of just giving you a task to solve, each one of these projects is going to come with an introductory video, as well as they're going to come with a readme file that explains to you exactly what you need to do in this project. And this is the real key here, because when you're first learning anything, React in particular, it's really hard to actually connect what you're learning with how you can actually use that. Because you learn the syntax and you know how it works, but you need to also connect that with the logic of building a project. And that's what these readme files help you do. They give you some starting code and they explain to you what you need to do in this set of instructions. Some of these projects have some bonus project instructions you can do, but essentially it's just a way of explaining to you what you need to do. So it takes away half of the struggle, which is thinking about the logic. And instead you can focus purely on the learning of the React and connecting all your React concepts together. And slowly, as you go throughout the course, this is the very first project, so it's quite easy. But by the time you get to the very end of the course, the project's going to have much less detail, but you'll have the skills at that point to be able to master them even with less specific instructions. Now, when you get to the very end of the course, you'll be tasked with building out the large bonus project for the course, and that is this entire job board plus task board and everything that you can see in here with authentication and so on. And this I am really proud of because not only is this a project that will look amazing on any resume, but it's also structured in a way that's it's identical to actually working in a real company. So this will train you the skills that you need to learn in order to work on a real company. So what exactly does that mean? So what we can do is we can go ahead and look at the actual project for this. And you'll notice it has a massive readme explaining a bunch of stuff, but not only is it just explaining to you stuff, it's also going to treat you as if you're a developer on a team. For example, there's an entire section and a company videos that actually talk to you as if the team lead is talking to you. So this is coming directly from the team lead on a project, just like if you're working on a team. Same thing here, you know, you scroll down a little ways, you'll see there's an entire introduction from the backend developer as well, teaching you about the API. And the reason that these introductions are here is because most of the time when you're working in a company, you're working on a real code base that already has code. So that's what this project has. You'll notice if we look inside of here, there's tons of code inside of this project that already is there before you even start because other people came along and they created all the code for all these different pages, all these different components. I mean, there's a ton of stuff in here. So this will teach you not only how to build out new features, but also how to work with an existing code base and work with other people. And you'll notice all the different tasks you need to do are inside of GitHub issues, just like with a normal company, they may use something like Trello or Jira, but it's going to be the same style of thing. And if we open these up, you notice you have a description from like your project manager, you have a list of tasks that they want you to accomplish, and then you have some mock-up designs from your UI team. So it's really trying to encompass the entirety of what it's like to work on an actual development team and to use that to actually build a really impressive and cool project that'll make your portfolio stand out above everyone else's. I spent weeks building out this project and structuring it perfectly so that you can really feel what it's like to work on an actual development team. And I've never seen anything like this anywhere else and there's nothing that even compares to this when it comes to preparing you for an actual full-time React job and making sure that your portfolio looks amazing and you'll be able to ace all your interview questions. So if you've been struggling to learn React, or maybe you're thinking about learning React because the jobs pay so well, 
I definitely recommend checking out my React Simplified course. I'll link it down in the description for you. Like I said, it's gonna cover all of these concepts that you need to learn. And if you go and click on it right when this video goes live, you'll be able to get a discount on the full course.